guys welcome back to my youtube channel in uh, today assignments we are going to look at uh, evaluation hash zero where you as the software engineer you are supposed to, to do a certain quiz and uh, if you look at the instruction once you start you start the quiz you may not uh, click out search on google or open a terminal Failure to stay within the exam will reflect on your final exam. If you complete the quiz, the quiz sooner than that speed and time, that is acceptable. The quiz is, however, cannot be paused once you have started. You are not allowed to ask peer for answer during the exam. You can, however, use papers to do. Okay, so let's go direct to the to the question and also remember. If you take the exam on site, on site during the specified time, you will receive 100% point. However, if you take the exam off site during the specified time or any time other than the specified time, you will receive. Suppose beyond shell, which command should I use to display the exit code of the previous code? So we have uh, the core. The echo dollar sign exit code. We have uh, the echo dollar sign question mark, echo dollar sign code, then the echo explanation mark. And lastly, you don't know. So the correct answer for this one is supposed to be echo dollar sign explanation mark. This one is the correct answer. This is the command that we will always use whenever we want to exceed a code of the previous command okay let's submit okay let's move to number two which of these uh, loop system statements exist in c select for the valid answers number one we have for each for while loop two do while each and uh, the last part we have i don't know the answer so the correct answer for that, okay, for number one, let's uh, look at uh, some of the things that we have already learned from the previous class. We had already learned about uh, the four, and uh, for the four loop, if you can still remember, or you can as well as go back to my to my channel, for the loop, for the four loop, when you know the exact how many times you want to loop through a block of code, you use the for loop instead of the while loop. Okay, so this is one of them. Then the other one that we had already done in the previous uh, class is the while. For the while, the while loop goes through a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. And lastly, we have the do while. The do while phase one. For the do while, this loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true. Then it will repeat the, the loop as, as the condition is true. Then the other one which is not here, we have the nested loop, which means it is possible to place a loop inside another loop, and this ought to be referred to as the nested loop. Then for the inner loop, it will be executed one time for each iteration of the outer loop. But the most important part of this one, since the question is which of the following loop exists in C. So we have the for, we have the for loop, we have the while loop, and the do while. The rest are not uh, part of the loops that we have. Okay, next part, the next question is which sample should I use to redirect the error output to the standard output? And uh, this one is a, it's a simple one. And the correct answer is, is a, we have a two, this one, this one. Then we have this one, this one, and lastly, this one. So the correct answer is supposed to be two. The one starting with two, then ending with one. Then you submit. Then the next part, which command should you use to list files on Linux? Linux. 
very simple okay so before maybe we we go through we have uh, the which which does not take uh, we not uh, look at so much on that one also for the list doesn't exist then for the cd it exists then we have the ls ls stand for list files and directories when the cd stand for you change the directory we use the cd command to change the direction with the list we use the list to to list the files and directories then the other one we have the pwd which stand for you print a working directory and the question is you use the file so we have said that uh, this one is for changing direction change the directory this one is for listing the files and directory and the last three pw you print the working directory so use the use the command to use to list file so the correct answer is ls okay let's move to the next part we have what is the output of the following piece of code what is the output of the following piece of code we have integer i where i is equal to 10 i is less than 20 then you print function i divided by 2 so what you are supposed to do take um, number one we have the uh, you take this one 10 divided by 2 10 divided by 2 you get uh, 5 reminder 0 5 reminder 0 so not that then move to the remember it's supposed to be i switch is 10 we have a uh, supposed to be 10 10 is less than 20 so all the numbers that are in between and remember the rule 20 is not one of the numbers so the next number we have 11 so you can write down the 11 where we have 11 divided by 2 this one which will give you 5 reminder 1 so the next number we have is remainder 1 the first one is remainder 0 then move to the next number which is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 remainder 0 so the next uh, number is 0 then the next number is 13 13 divided by 2 is supposed to be 6 remainder 1 then you go to 14 divided by 2 you get 7 remainder 0 then the next number 15 divided by 2 7 you get 7 remainder 1 16 divided by 2 you get 8 remainder 0 17 divided by 2 you get 8 remember remainder 1 18 we have 9 remainder 0 then lastly 19 divided by 2 you get 9 remainder 1 remember we are supposed to be the range is between the 10 and the number which is less than 20 which is 19 so the answer is supposed to have the first one is 0 then we have 1 then we have 0 we have uh, 0 supposed to start with 0 1 0 1 0 then should up with then so the correct answer is this one if you write what I'm saying you will get now the correct answer very easily okay let's move to the next one okay for this one what is the problem with the following C code we have a uh, we have um, I is not increment outside the loop so an infinite loop occur you cannot use integers to in put correct then uh, i is not incrementing the while loop so an infinite loop occurs then we have i don't know okay let's see what could be the problem okay so we have include include So we have um, it's not an increment. Let me see. So 
So the answer is supposed to be high is not an increment. So it's between uh, this one, this is high is not an increment outside. Okay, okay. So the correct chance I've seen where the, the answer is. Because if you look at the code, it's supposed to be i is not an increment in the while loop. So an infinite loop occurs. An infinite loop occurs. So the answer is this one. Then you submit. Okay, the next number. What does this code print? What does this code print? Okay, let me see. So we have a print something, function to print something, then turn all this, then integer, print something, integer, integer, okay, i c increment, i plus increment, increment, j increment, and we have uh, the zero. Then number one, the end time table starting with zero, the end time table for the r minus x r minus minus r minus minus so for the binary the binary value for r minus x stands for five this one the first part this one r minus x stands for five while the remaining part, if you look at the remaining part, they are supposed to be look, they are similar. In fact, they are similar. We have r minus minus, r minus minus. So, okay, so for this one, r minus minus, this one, the binary value, the remaining part, the binary value for this one is 4. And uh, the other binary value for this one is also 4. So the correct answer is 5, 4. This code does not work as intended. Okay, let me see. Let's and print function statement to the code. Okay, let me see. What information do the print statement tell us about our code is executing? Okay, let me see what could be the problem. So the answer is supposed to be, okay, print function statement shows when the loop is finished, print function shows there is an infinite loop. And uh, the other part, we have uh, we have uh, print shows exactly how many times the loop executes. Then print statement shows that break will cause for loop. So Based on uh, the information that we have been given, we have uh, integer main and print. So the answer is supposed to be, I'm trying to, okay, let me see. We have uh, print. Okay, so one of the answers is print functions that shows that break will cause for loop exitant. Then the other one we have The print statement shows when the loop is finished. So the what is the information going to the print statement tell us about the code? Let me see. Select all the valid answers. Let me see. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Number one, the print statement shows when the loop is finished, and the other one is because the other part to be executed. Okay.
okay then the next part what are the different steps to form an executable file from c this, uh, the, this is the thing that we started uh, on when starting on c so number one we have uh, as obvious pre-processing compilation assembly and the linking so those are the things that we have been working on for the first for the last uh, around two weeks what shape will be with this code print okay we have the uh, okay so we have the integer print shape return okay let me see not this so we use thing so we have uh, this part so we have the print function then we have the hash there so it's supposed to be the the shape is supposed to see let me see try to work on it and see the ship so it's supposed to be let me see okay print okay so it's supposed to be a rectangle it's supposed to be a rectangle with the remember we have been given two two numbers four and three so an obvious supposed to be number one supposed to have this hash then four and also the three so it's supposed to be a rectangle with